so in this video I want to show you a couple of tools uh, that you have access to in the lab that will help you to make a prototype uh, more accurate and clean. And the first tool is our carpenter square. It just basically looks like two rulers that have been put together at right angles. In addition to being able to, able to use it as a measuring tool, um, more importantly, it can be used to create exact right angles. And so what we'll find in a lot of the prototypes that are being made, you'll have to put together a frame or a box of some kind. And that's, that's really where the uh, carpenter square comes in handy. So if you take a piece of cardboard that you have for your prototype and you have a side that you know is straight, for example, this side is, doesn't look very straight, but this one looks pretty straight. If you take a side, you can use your carpenter square. You measure it up along the side that you know is straight, and you can draw your second line that you need to draw in order to make a cut along that line. All right, so it, it, it guarantees us that we have a, a 90 degree angle. And for cutting cardboard, you can use the slice safety cutters. These are really good to uh, have on hand. I've, I've got a, quite a few of them in the lab. You could also use the, the cardboard scissors. I think they're called Fisker snips, but we just call them cardboard scissors. And so you have access to both of those. There are other tools that can do that as well, but these two seem to work best with cutting cardboard in accurate straight lines. And the thing about cutting cardboard to remember is because it is, uh, so it's got this thickness to it. If you cut the cardboard with the slice cutter, I would suggest cutting it very softly the first run through and then slowly sort of go through it over and over and what you'll end up with is after three or four of these strokes you'll separate the two pieces and again you know you've got a cutting mat underneath or another piece of cardboard uh, to use as a sacrificial piece of cardboard so um, one of the key things for us making these prototypes is getting these measurements not only accurate but what we call square Okay. In addition to that, you want to be able to put together pieces that are going to be stable. And so we have a couple of other things available for you. These are, uh, for now I'm just going to call them angle brackets. They're laser cut pieces that come in small, medium, and large. And they, in addition to being cut around the perimeter, they've been scored with a line that's part way through the cardboard. And this is to help you to easily bend them in the way that they're meant to be bent. So if you look at this one here, this is a medium sized one here. It's got this line. If I just slightly put pressure pulling away from that line on either side, and now I've got this 90 degree, it, it, you know, again, this will vary depending on what your needs are, but uh, it'll hold well at the angle that you're ready to when you're ready to glue it together. So for example, uh, I've got this piece of cardboard here these two uh, have been previously cut and I used a medium sized angle bracket, uh, applied some wood glue. So we have wood glue in the uh, lab. It doesn't quite look like this one, but we do have them and I'll, I'll identify them for you. And uh, you just put a light amount. You don't have to put a lot. So if I was applying this one here, you know, I'm only putting at the most something like this. I'm just gonna spread it with my finger and I can put this on, end up on both sides. So again, a very small amount. And the reason for that is because the, the larger amount that you put on here, the longer it's gonna to take to dry. This probably takes us a good you know, 10, 10 seconds holding it in place. And so I'm gonna put this, I'm lining up my center bend with my cardboard. I'm gonna take my second piece and line it up there. And I'm just going to hold them in place for again, 10 seconds or so, and you end up with a really good bond, okay? Now, uh, in addition to the three pieces that are for angle brackets, we have a fourth piece that's for corners, okay? And if you bend these outward, you'll end up putting them together like this, one, two, and this smaller tab here, I think I can show you, see if I can get that focused. All right, so the, these, three sides and this little tab and you can just take a very again small amount of glue put it on this edge spread it out a little bit and then this folds like that and what that does 
is it gives us a corner piece. And this corner piece can then be used to give a little bit more stability to your corners. This one isn't always necessary. Sometimes when you put pieces together and you've got the angle brackets on, on all the sides, you won't need this. But this is for anybody who feels they need to make their corners a little bit more secure. Okay, so I've got an example of that right here. I've got a side bracket, medium sized side bracket that I've already put there. And then I've added the corner bracket in the, in the place where the three pieces meet. Okay, and then you end up with a, you know, a clean looking prototype and that's, that's really what we're looking for. Measurements are accurate and then everything is stable and clean. In addition to that, I want to make sure that you know that we, th th these are, this material is called chipboard. It's not quite cardboard. You can kind of see that it's really thin and flat. And so it's a different type of material. Well, that chipboard can also be used for building. And so you don't have to use cardboard if you don't want. We've got some of this as well. So maybe your whole prototype ends up being chipboard with chipboard support brackets. Okay. And then lastly, there, is, there are these angle brackets that are kind of stuck at 90 degrees. These are actually from, this was a long piece, probably four feet long altogether. Uh, that was used for, uh, I think, a furniture delivery or something. So they, they, we have these long um, angle brackets that I've cut down to about one inch or so in size. Didn't really take an accurate measurement, but they, they can be used if you really need the stability. And so here's an example of one of those uh, where it's just two of those brackets. And I use chipboard, so this is, this is kind of flimsy, but the bracket itself is really strong. So you're going to have to decide. You've got a lot of different tools to choose from. You'll have to decide what works best for the project that you're doing. But again, make sure that you take advantage of some angle brackets that have been laser cut for you, some angle brackets that have been cut for you. Use your carpenter's square as your way of making sure you've got right angles. And then use the proper tools to uh, mark and cut.